Hey people, I am back. I've been gone for too long. Oh my goodness. But the look I have done is with the Morphe 35W palette. I've used the whole palette for the eyes. All my brushes are Morphe as well. I showcase them throughout it because they're all new. With this video, I kind of just winged it. I didn't really have a plan, so to say. I just kind of picked the colours that I thought would go nice and they did work out quite well. But other than that, that's about it and I hope you enjoy this video. It is a full face video. I do my tie base, eyes, lips, cheeks, etc. Um, and I use different products than I have before or that you've seen me use. So it's going to be totally different than what you've already seen. Hopefully you enjoy it. Um, give me a thumbs up if you love it and subscribe to me. In this video, I'm going to showcase a lot of the brushes as well because I've just done this huge Morphe brush order because I'm a love of Morphe as you guys already probably could tell um, and I've got totally different brushes from what I've already had so I'm really going to show you what I'm now using for what step and which brushes I really recommend you getting because they are like heaven on a stick. If you've watched my other videos you would have seen me use this primer a zillion times it's the Napoleon Purtis Rating Spoosing Mask. Still obsessed with it, still haven't found anything better for myself. I'm um, finding this still works the best for me probably going to use it until I'm 97 years old because it's amazing. The Morphe M7071 which is a really big orange flat foundation brush. Just using my primer with that one just because it spreads it. It's a big brush to pack on that primer. For foundation, I'm using something I haven't used throughout a video before, but I am wearing it in some of my videos, the Napoleon Purtis Stroke of Genius. So this foundation is beautiful, super flawless when you put it on. It does have that built-in brush, which I do use and I am going to use. Something happened that I never thought would happen and that's using a different concealer than Pro Long Wear by MAC. So I'm using Naked Skin by Urban Decay. Just going to use a new brush of mine, the Morphe S4, which is just a concealer brush. Cool, then once you've concealed your face, then you're just going to set it with a powder. So, using Camel Finish by Napoleon Purtis, which is nothing different than what I'm normally doing, um, a big brush. Morphe G O. It's like a fluffy cloud sent down from the heavens to bless us all. Showing another new brush that I've got, the Morphe M554. It's an under eye like setting brush for powder. So just a lot smaller and you can really kind of blur out any creases that you might get. Now moving on to brows because they look weird when they're not done. Um, I'm using a different brow product um, because I just got it from Morphe. I've never used their brow product so I thought I'd give it a go. It's form, which is um, the darkest. I just used the Morphe M160 1/8 and the Morphe M115 as my brushes. So you've just got your spoolie on one end and then you've just got a small synthetic angled liner brows. Then going in with the MAC brow set in clear just to hold those brows in place.
Contouring the face, chocolate bronzer by Too Faced in medium deep and then using the Morphe MB35. Napoleon Purtis in flushing for blush as per usual my videos but using the Morphe 556 brush. And last but not least for cheeks is the Mineralized Skin Finished in Soft and Gentle by MAC but then using the Morphe 510 brush. Good, so that's your base done. Now moving on to eyes. I'm just going to use one palette and one palette only and it's your Morphe 35W palette. I have done a tutorial with this palette before, doing like a really dark smoky eye, but this one's going to be more like earthier tones. Um, kind of sticking to these kind of like purpley, I don't even know what colour tones you would call them. But mainly just those ones and a little bit of black probably to darken it. I'm just winging it, I don't really have a plan, but um, those colours are going to go nice together so we don't really need a plan now do we? First you're going to prep your eye with the Paley Paint Pot by MAC, which is a usual from me. First thing I'm going to start with is using my blush that I put on my cheeks, the Flushing by Napoleon. I'm going to put that through the socket just as like a first socket colour using the Morphe MB23 brush. Going with this colour right here on the palette with the Morphe 200 which is a personal favourite of mine and I'm putting this colour in the socket as well just underneath where that blush colour is and kind of focusing a lot in the outer corner as well So you can see I've done this hole from like the inner to the outer, that whole socket area and push the product into the outer corner as well. Then taking the Morphe M419 which is the angled kind of quite firm fluffy brush. And you're taking this colour right here. So we started with the blush, we went in with this colour just then and now we're going in with this dark, really dark kind of purple colour. And we're going to put that heaps in the outer corner. Now we're going to do this inner part here with that really dark colour I've just done on the outer corner. I'm just using a Morphe M150. Which is really, really tiny, but just so I don't spread the product further than I want to. So it's in the same palette, but it's that colour there. Use my one finger here. The Morphe M408 for this one, which is just a really small, dense brush to really pack that product on. Up to you how you want to go about the eyes, whether you want to get them quite round or whether you want to kind of cut out it with concealer. I feel like I want to cut out with concealer, so that's what I'm going to do. So I'm just going in with concealer. Go lightly under the eye with the blush in that same big fluffy brush. And with that really tiny brush that you use on the inner.
I'm just using Onyx Factor by Napoleon, which is a black pencil in the waterline of the eye. And using my beloved Matte Eye Ink by Napoleon Purtis on top and doing a winged liner. Coating the disguise with Mesmerize by Napoleon. And you're going to put on your falsies. I'm going to go quite nude on the lip, just using Nude Awakening by Napoleon Pencil. Um, it's just a plain nude pencil and I'm going to go quite nude with the lip as well. Then you're just going to finish with the Urban Decay All Night Out Makeup Setting Spray. This is the one that I like the best. You just give it a shake and then spritz away. And you are done! Well, let's go. But I'm Gerald. And I can always have just what I want. She's the baddest, I would love to flaunt. Take her shopping, you know, Eve Saint Laurent. But nope, no, nope. she ain't with it though. All because she got her own though. Boss, boss, if you don't know, she could never ever be a bro. This is the final look. Hopefully, you all really enjoyed this video. If you don't already follow me on social media, I kind of always post before my videos are going up of what the look is going to be. If you want to follow me, all those links are below as well. Everything that you ever need to know about life pretty much is just down below. But yeah, please give me a thumbs up, comment what you think, um, and share me as well. Other than that, if you have any questions, let me know. And in saying that, now the video is over. Uh. Hopefully you love me. Bye.